Eight years ago, uh, 10 local business people, including myself, uh, got together and said, you know, we want to do something to promote patriotism and give back to those that have sacrificed so much. And over those last eight years, we've become the largest financial supporter of military families in Northeast Ohio. Five years ago, um, I met Major Dan Rooney, who I have the honor of introducing here in a second. And I asked him if he would come to Northeast Ohio and spread the word of his ministry about what he was doing to help families that have lost their lives serving in the military and what we could do to help their kids. And during that time, he's come out and spoken at a few of our events. And we've uh, together have donated more than $200,000 of scholarships to Northeast Ohio families. And so with that, it's my great honor to introduce Major Dan Rooney. Thank you for being here, sir. And it's great to see you. So I have this term in life, I call it synchronicity. Um, I define it as chance with a purpose. And God puts people and experiences in our path every day. And the real challenge is when you are inspired is not to just blow past that moment, but to have the courage and the faith to take action. And I am uh, just clipped 20 years as an F-16 fighter pilot. And the beginning of Folds of Honor didn't start uh, in a fighter jet. I just returned home from my second tour of duty in Iraq. And about six months later, I would end up on a commercial airline flight. And about an hour and a half later, we'd land uh, in Grand Rapids, and the captain comes over the PA as we're pulling up to the gate and makes an announcement. He says, ladies and gentlemen, we have an American hero on board. We're carrying the remains of Corporal Brock Buckland, who was killed in Iraq, and his identical twin brother, Corporal Brad Buckland, is in first class and has brought him the 7,000 miles home. And that night, I watched the Bucklands on the darkest night of their lives. His brothers his parents, his wife, and his four-year-old son. And I couldn't help but reflect on my life. And I have five kids, five daughters. And if the tide of war ever turned on me, my greatest concern is what would happen to my family. And in that moment of despair, I felt a hand on my shoulder. I looked back and there was nothing there. But on this 10-year journey called Folds of Honor, the only thing I know for certain is that it was a hand of God. And my wife and I started above our garage in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Um, it'll be 11 years, August 26th. Last Monday, we awarded our 20,000 scholarships since we started. So we've deployed over $115 million in life-changing scholarships to spouses and children who've had somebody killed or disabled defending our freedoms because we can't leave any family behind. I am the widow of Captain Sean English, who was killed in action in 2006 in Iraq. And our three children, Nathan, Noah, and Austin, are all uh, Folds of Honor recipients. And seeing an event like this is, um, as an inaugural, a first-time event is so impactful uh, to families like mine. And would like to thank everyone here in Northwest Ohio for their support. We are honored to work with Neopat and Northeast Ohio to support the families of our fallen and disabled. It is a great day to be an American, and it's the most heroic round um, that these golfers will play.